is Llama 3.1 or GPT-4.0 better? So Llama 3.1 dropped last week and people always say, oh, the open source are better than the API model. So let's actually put a test. So here I'm going to have Llama 3.170B on the left and I'm going to use GPT-4.0 on the right. And I'm going to go through my list of test prompts and then show the answers of both. Okay, so I'm going to run on Grok first. So write a Python script that will print 1 to 100 for Fibonacci sequence and print even and odd before the text. So one used the for loop and one used the while loop, but they both gave the correct answer. So they're about the same. Okay, next one. So write me a finite state machine to encapsulate the logic of Tower of Hanawi in Node.js. So the idea is that um, Tower of Hanawi is a complex logic problem and if it can encapsulate in a finite state machine then it has a really good understanding of the logic okay so here it's very interesting open, open um, gpt 4.0 is using libraries to do this stuff and then it's creating a class like this and it's making fsm using that and this is correct versus over here when we're using llama it's doing it from scratch so it's interesting that it seems like open ai was training it on libraries and this one's training it from scratch. So I will give the win to the one from scratch. So now I want to write a haiku poem about the seasons, winter, fall, summer, and spring, where each line begins with the, the season's first letter. So let's see if we can follow instructions for text. So it looks like OpenAI did it correctly. And yeah, it did it correctly as well, except there's a space here. So I think the win goes to Open for this. Okay, next one is um, I want to text this context windows ability. So basically, I have a 2000 token context window here, and I hid the password in the story. So basically, I want Grok to find me the password, and I want OpenAI to find me the password. And there you go, it found the password and it found the password. Okay, now let's try a bigger one. So this is 4000 tokens. So both of them found the password, but see here, it gave a lot more extra stuff that we didn't need. So I will give the win to ChatGPT for 4 0. Okay, now let's go bigger. Let's go for an 8,000 context window. So it got the right password and it got the right password. Okay, now let's go bigger. Let's do 16,000 tokens. So I found the password in 16,000 tokens and I found it here as well. So that's pretty good. And let's go do it again. Now let's do 32,000 tokens. So OpenAI seems like it has some problems. So let's try again. So you see on the Grok side, it got the password properly. And wow, it looks like OpenAI is refusing to generate it. So I think it will probably work on the playground, but it looks like chapter doesn't allow you to do third to the context, which is pretty interesting. Okay, let's keep going. We have four level of logic and it needs to do some math calculations. So here it's saying tier one should get $60,000 per year. And then tier two should get 3,200. And tier one, it thinks it's 7,800. And then for tier two, So here, so it says tier one is 5,800 and tier two is 7,800. It's very interesting. They both give two very different answers. So I'm not quite sure which one is exactly correct. I would have to do the math myself, but it's very interesting. They're giving completely different answers. Now I want to do role playing. So basically I want them to pretend to be a five-year-old boy and they're, they just got yelled at. And I want them to write me an email at, to my CEO that a client ran away. So let's see how it says, right? Dear Mr. CEO. So see, it sounds like it's very good at, at role playing here. On Lama side, on this side. 
huh, it's very interesting that OpenAI didn't really follow the role playing very well. So maybe it just didn't understand it very well, but I will give the win here to Lama 3.1. Yeah. Okay, next one. We have a sales transcript between Bob and Christina, and I want to pull out the requirements. So it got the project overview, the features, the chat functionality, the accuracy, the content, the time, budget. Yeah, so for the most part, they're both equivalent for pulling out requirements. So that's uh, even for that one. Now let's do the next one. So basically, I want to give three complex topics. So common sense, reasoning, game theory, and epigenetics. And tell me the difference between them and explain them step by step. So here, I'll break down the reasoning. So common sense. Huh. So it's possible I think I ran out of tokens. Yeah, so I think I ran out of tokens here. Let's try it again. There we go. So it explained each one and then highlight the differences. So that's pretty good. And now over here, it explains each one and then highlight differences. So they're both very good at explaining concepts. Now I want to give a more specific instruction where basically I want to give me a one word answer. So what's the capital canon? So it's Ottawa. So that's good. Okay, next. So Macy, I want to see its ability in dealing with old coal languages where they probably don't have a lot of training data for. And so basically I want them to go solve the NQ problem, which is a complex algorithm problem. So I want them to do it in COBOL programming language. And then I want them to write a C++ wrapper around this code. So it'll be very interesting to see if it can do two programming language and sort out what to do. So here it's writing the code in COBOL. And then I wrote a C++ wrapper to call this code. So yeah, it looks like it did its job properly. And that's pretty interesting. I didn't, I didn't think it would really understand COBOL. Okay, now let's come over here. So click COBOL again, so that's good. And then made C wrapper and it's wrapper class, but how does it call COBOL? Okay, well, it looks like it did the same thing, but it just did it a different way, but yeah, they can both do it. So they're equivalent on that. Okay, now let's do the last test. And this one is the most interesting, I think, for myself. It's um, how good is it at translating like six languages at once? So I have um, an Italian saying, a Japanese saying, a Chinese saying, a Spanish saying, a Tamil saying, and then a Russian saying. And Interesting, the Russian one, they have two different answers. And then for the Tamil one, they have two different words here. For Spanish, it actually opened I got it wrong here. And then for Chinese, the old man loses his horse. But So it looks like this one got it correct. And then for Japan, Japanese, it looks like this one got it correct in Italian. So that's pretty interesting. So it sounds like translations, Lambda 3.1 is better. So to summarize, after doing it, I think they're neck to neck at their abilities. I think Lambda 3.1 is way better at role playing and way better at translations than OpenAI. And OpenAI sounds like for coding, it likes to depend more on libraries than doing it from scratch. So this was a very good comparison and I hopefully everyone can take this back and actually see what is possible from both of them and choose the better model to use when you need it.